Hey friends, down at my brother cousin's shop down in here, and this here French person made this for me. It's a big long two two um, two shackle uh, two sockets, and it goes way in there. This deep dish it goes right in there on that. She's long, and they had to grind her down and small on the top. So we're gonna do some work. There's, he's got a new, there's his Chevelle. He's got his new, uh, he's rebuilding all this. Like I showed you guys before, all you car guys. Look at this truck, new addition he's got. There's his big motor in this engine. This is Chevrolet all the day, baby! Woo! It's a nice truck. He got this truck local. Buddy brought it home from, uh, Look at that door open up. Ain't gonna slam that door. She's a C10. She's a Chevy 10. So this is his new addition. This come out west. Been stored for a long time. Did you put this engine in, Randy? Yeah. Seems so to me. He's mean in business. He wants this on the highway. LS motor. What year would that motor be? Uh, 2001. And a whole lot of fun. He's gonna put a hoist in. This is his new locale. He uh, moved out of his other place. Brought his tool kit and stuff. He's doing good. This, uh, I like this spot better, I find, than the other spot. No, this is a nice truck. Randy, this is a nice truck. I like Sir Bye. I put my stamp of approval on this one, by This is a good old local truck. Very nice truck. See, it kept inside the building, and he got a bit into it. He bought it. He got a bit into it. Yeah, it's not perfect. It's not perfect, but I'll tell you, she's uh, in good condition. Yeah. I got a Vintag for a 66 Chevy in my name. You know what I mean? I'm an old redneck. I'm an old redneck, but he's going to hit all his legal talities. So I'm going to go out west and hijack a truck. Yeah, I'm going to buy an old truck from a dirt farmer. And I get a VIN tag in my name. And I'll throw it on there. See them old tags going up and in. Like that. Look at these fenders. These fenders is... This ain't fiberglass. This is metal. And this ain't... Randy... Do you know something? This is not a C10. This is a Chevy 10. Yeah. I think C10s come after this. Well, these are the original. 64 was their... Uh... Well, it doesn't say C10. It just says Chevy 10. Yeah. Um, so what's going on with that? <laughs> C10. C10. I don't know. When you look up Paris, they call it a C10. Yeah. Huh. This is the year you was born, right, Randy? Yeah. Yeah. 38, was it? or? <laughs> Some days he feels like he was born in 38. Don't you, Rand? Yeah. No, 65. She's a 65 all day long. Wow. Yeah, <laughs> Randy, did these tires stay on it or you bought it, you put them on? No, I replaced all the tires. You know, oh, you've been really. You never had this very long and you've been putting some time in this. Rand, Randy had a Randy had a 65 or 66, that green one you had? Yeah, 66. Randy had a 66. That would be the year my brother's born. And he loved it. He come from Alberta, I guess. 
and he had it and he painted it all up and man, it was a nice truck and he, he let it go. He said he made a mistake, but really at the time he let it go, but, and uh, he always wanted one. How many years ago was that, Randy? 20 some years? 20, 25 years ago or? 23. 23 years ago, man. See, when a car guy knows the dates and times when they lose a good friend, so now he's got a, I think he's got a way better one, I think. Because, man, practically all the work's all done. He did good on that truck. An old man had that, and Randy knowed him, and Randy's a wine and diner. He's pretty smooth, that Randy. He's cool. He don't say much, and he's quiet, and people like seeming. He said, you let me know if you want to sell that old truck. And, and he let him know, and Randy's got it. I'm happy for that. Now he's got a truck again. So right now, Randy's looking for a block of wood. Rand, a block of wood, okay. Get them dogs in the car, them little dogs just a barking. I'm trying to find a stick, a block of wood. Maybe he don't even want a block of wood. Uh, well, you know, go, I want to go look for something. Oh, right here. This might work, but he already might have one. Do you need a block? Oh, I got a block. You don't need one? Come on. This would have been a good one. Yeah, I figured he'd have one. He don't fool around, Randy. Look at this little car. Take that block, Brent, but that's the front wheel. Okay. Yeah. Get this block here. We'll put this block in the front wheel. We're going to put a nice brand new leaf spring in it. We're going to put another rotor. And hopefully the pads, the rotor didn't ruin the pads. If so... We got Darren here with his black uh, SUV type vehicle, GMC, you know what I mean? We have to run to Digby and get over there. That's perfect for that, Randy. It's made right for it. The curvature. Oh, right to 1 16th of an inch. Hey, Blue. Oh, what are you doing? You're not barking. You don't bark much when Dixie don't get it done. Oh. I smell injuries. Yeah, it's uh, this coolant uh, comes out of my uh, top thing. Oh yeah. So I'm wondering if it's uh, uh, I mean we can put a pressure test on it if you get the tools to do it. But I'm thinking, I'm thinking I filled it too much. It sets and is overflowing it. Oh yeah. I filled it right to the top. So. Yeah, I just. Oh. See, I don't know much. When Dad made me, he just made the image. You know, we don't know too awful much. I don't anyway. Dad did. Over there, you having a pee? Let's check that pee out. What have you been eating? Drinking. You been eating broccoli? It looks pretty yellow. Green. It's okay. Huh? It's okay. Huh? okay. You fellas don't have to bark. It's you're a good okay. little fellas. That's just stuff. Okay. Scratch him up there. Darren, you're a day like you. You don't like this old wavy bearded guy. This here come from me, Randy. I asked Randy first if he wanted it. He had his heart set on it, and me and him made a sale. Oh, she's a honey. She's a honey. She's a, a, a Halls. It's a Halls wood splitter. Mm -hmm. Well, here's the address. For, excuse me, Darren. Mm -hmm. Hey. Maritime, Maritime uh, Halls welding. Mm -hmm. He loves her. New condition. Over there. the Austrian border. That's a Firebird. I like this car. But you know something? I don't like being a convertible. Now, some people say they like them, but and when the top goes down, the money goes up. But this is nice. This is a 55, I'm thinking. 55 two-door. 
This is just his Beaumont. Canadian Chevelle. <laughs> Made in Canada! So he'll get that done sometime. So, I think he's after... He's got the air out, the tank. I'll show you the tank he's got. Once he gets his hoist in here, he'll be all right. There's his new tank he bought, or maybe it was left here, I don't know. Where is it? Powered. Weird. Weird. Powered. Pow no, power. That's what it is. Pow air. That's a big one. He's a big one. On the bicycle there. Well, see that bus go you want to think of? P.B. Herman. P.B. Herman. I like the P.B. Herman. Inside his head. Randy, was them bolts loose? Or you got super power? I think that... They was never torqued. I can't tell you because I haven't used this gun before. Oh, <laughs> they was never torqued. I asked the guys, I said, can you torque my wheels? They said, did the wheels fall off? Yet? And I went, mm, no. Oh, then that's your test. You don't need them torqued. And I said, yes, sir. Yeah. <laughs> Check it up. No, no. We'll take the wheel off. Okay. Yeah. Here you do. That. You do the Vic. Darren's my crazy thing. Darren's my video man. You know, wiggle trick. These suckers ain't light. Big wheels. Yeah. <laughs> I don't want to put them on the spikes. <laughs> put them on the spring. Look at that. Back her up. I never know that. What? I like that. <laughs> that is cool, man. You know, years ago, no, not years ago, What when new trucks and cars come now, they come with these complete flat, don't you, Randy? Yeah. And they take them off, and I don't know what to do with them. But a lot of the young people now is keeping them on their cars because it looks cool. Well, you think I did this before? My conscience. And that's how Randy couldn't tell that the rotor was bad. But the rotor's bad inside. Oh, yeah. Sure looks bad. Oh, yeah, it does. It's thin It's off. thin on the back side. Chew that, that bad. Right That's off. what I was kind of thinking, <laughs> Rand. Yeah. So what do you think we should do? Well, I can... Would it be quicker to go to Bayview? Would you have one? Or just shoot the Digby and get it? I shoot the Digby. Get it. Get the uh, pads. Yeah, it doesn't matter either way. Bayview's closer, but... We can duck down and get up from Bayview. What you, what's your thoughts? Don't make too much difference. Probably get up from Bayview before I can get the rotor off. Yeah, cool. You smell if they got them. What's the thing, eh? Think we should give them a call instead of going down there? Oh, yeah. Give them a jingle there? And... Yeah. <laughs> Blue. Huh? Blue sniffing, yeah. He was sniffing my old curly beard. Yeah. Yeah, I just keep taking them there. They like the long videos. Oh, yeah. Hi, Dix. Hi, Dix. Hi. Hi, Dixie. Well, I think the phone's right there. No, I'm looking for some food. Oh, I got you. Yeah, I thought I was thinking that, too. I think I was coming there, but...
There's a few things stayed here. That stuff that that's just off one Hello. of the interstate. Oh, really? Hello. Yeah. Hey, little doggies. Little Dixie eating there. grass. Oh, look at here. Hey, eating that grass. Look at you. Boy, yo, boys. You must want to throw up or something. Eat some grass and go puke. Get a fur ball out of your guts or something. <laughs> Maybe. Oh, you are. See, there you go, right? I'm the high better. See? Yeah. Randy ain't going to do without the stuff, right? There's some vehicles yeah, right. on there, too. Nice dump trailer on there. Mm. Oh? Yeah. Uh, four, how big? 14 foot. Oh, that's a good size. Uh, nice. But like Gerald's got down there. Yeah, Gerald's a good one. Um, 7,700 was the bid so far. Oh, what what, what year would it have been? 2021. Oh, it's quite new. Uh, quite close to Gerald's. I should swing right galvanized. over and on that wrinkle. He just he just pulled in there just before me. But I don't know where he is. He just pulled in. Ah! Um, just coming up ah! on that road. It's a big, big, wide driveway. Big house and a big grass behind it with a brand new Dodge truck in it. Yeah, his boys working in the garage there. Huh? Mm. Yeah. I gotta go too because I'm thinking about getting my under my door. I got no. What's that, Randy? I'm gonna put something under this. Oh, what do you mean? Under, what? I've got no jack stand. Oh. I'll help you lift something, whatever. So this is new here. Am I one of the, uh, am I one of the first that you're actually working on a vehicle at this new establishment? Probably last. <laughs> Probably last, eh? <laughs> he don't mean that. <laughs> right now he says it, but... He's not feeling the best. He's been sick for quite a while, so. <laughs> you know what I mean? But any man, that's, any man, any man that's going to get a hoist and a tire change or stuff, they mean business. They only work for a select a few, very few. Yeah. Yeah. He points. <laughs> he was pointing. I haven't got enough to do. <laughs> well, you got your rest of your life to do that. Yeah, well. <laughs> You're not very old. You're getting up, getting up there. My age. So what you need to do, Rand? <sighs> oh, see, why are you putting them, them extra sticks up there, Randy? What's your, what's your reasoning? Okay. Why did you put that stick up there? Like, oh, oh. Safety. okay. My viewers likes to know this stuff, right? And I'm one of the viewers. Oh, <laughs> I'll, I'll answer it. It's up at the building, and it's staying. Let's say that. Oh, you don't this, want us to go get it? No, it's not. Let's just say it's at the building, staying at the building. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's an in internal thing. Yeah, okay. What stays at the building stays at the building. He's leaving some stuff. You, you leave some trinkets and such. Yeah, I understand. Yeah. Yeah, it's a sweet in the deal trinkets. Yeah. Mm. I understand. Yeah. So, yeah. That's the right side, Rand? That's the right side. It's too long. Oh. Yeah. See, these mechanic jobs, you know, you just got to take your time and work slow at it. And Rand, this her guy here, he takes his time and works slow at it. He's like one of them turtles, and the turtle keeps on winning the war. But the hare goes to sleep, and there's, then there's no more. SD in this car. What's that mean, guys, viewers? SD. Huh? Huh? Super deluxe. See, I didn't know. And I'm a viewer. He corrected me. Sport Deluxe. Darren's talking to somebody. Who's Darren talking to? Who's he talking to? Who? A dog? Yeah, she lifted her leg and peed like a male dog. I thought you was talking to a human being on here, my brother. They're, uh, See? they're enjoying the spot. Oh, they love it down here. <laughs> yeah. 
Yes, you won't. Randy's got all the hair on his head. And he's he's as old as me practically. And I got no hair, man. I'm a mess. Where's the pan? Oh my goodness. I put it in backwards. <laughs> you did? Oh, you... Don't need them. <laughs> Brand new. How'd you put it? <laughs> <laughs> you did you, Randy? You put it in backwards. I knew, Randy, that I heard that noise, like steel on steel. You was sick, Randy. Old jeans. Break man. Randy was sick hey, for a long he's time, and break man. He's and bragging up his brake jobs, huh? Wow, that's he something. Over there one day, put his set of pads on, and went over and he opened the door up in the garage, and he backed the car out and went for his test drive. And when he got back, opened the door right quick and pulled the car back in right quick, and, and he was jacking it up. I saw him over there taking the pads off, so I walked around the car right quiet. I looked down at him like that, and he goes, oh, Jeepo creeps, Jeepo creeps. Don't tell anybody, don't tell anybody. <laughs> <laughs> well, I didn't even know that a person could do that and, and actually work. But I was wondering why I heard this dragging noise. I was telling Randy, I said, I think that road is really bad. I never heard it, did it? No, is it? Well, help us because it saved the. <laughs> it, it didn't hurt the pad at all because it was on the back part of the steel. Yeah. Got to be the toughest yeah, pad in the world. The yeah. Look at that, would you? Yeah. That's the back of the pad. You air is human. Look at that, would you? Brand new pad. <laughs> the twins is probably looking at this and going, see? Anybody can make a little mistake oh, once in a while. I guess so. Yep. Anybody. Even veterans, I guess which so. is Randy's a veteran, and I bet you a lot of people, a lot of people makes mistakes. Mistake. But he was sick though. He had an excuse. Yeah, I made plenty of mistakes in my life. Have you? Oh yeah. 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 You just correct them. Yeah. You try to learn from them. So you yeah. Said you got a rotor, right? I got a brand new rotor, Randy. Brand new. I got it from the Happy Store up in Digby. They was happy? They're always happy when they see me. Because <laughs> when I leave, I tell them, I say, you know something? When you smile, the world smiles with you. And uh, and you can get more with honey than you can with vinegar. Yeah, for sure. But I do say that vinegar is good for your body. Inner, inners, inner body. But honey makes you smile. Well, there it is. Whoop. There it is. I got some CDs. Hi, doggy wokey. I can't talk to them dogs because they'll they'll look at me and go crazy. Is that woman retired? What's that? Is that woman down shore retired? Oh, I I like the wheels. Some pretty cool. Flat steel. Wow. Man. Yeah, he's pretty nice. Got some. Uh, just paint chipping off here. Right here. See the paint right there. See that? That's just paint, but the, it's super solid. It's his truck come out of Idaho. And we brought it back from Alberta. But uh, just needs to be just needs to be sand it there and paint it. Same color. So these these lenses should be replaced or buffed out. Yeah. What a thing. This is Resisto. This is Resisto truck, eh? They only made uh, 420 trucks or something like that. It's got the, the cowboy. The cowboy in the seats. In the back seats. See the cowboys in the back seats? 
I got to do some armor all and do some vacuuming. I had this as a serious work truck and it was very dirty. You, I couldn't even see the seats. The seats was, the back of the seats was down, right? So when I sleep in here, I put the seats down and this complete table makes me, I just saw this in here. There's my new U-bolts and pins for the truck. When we do this side, because we've got to put the spring on, right? We've got to put the spring on. So, she's a layer of me. Yeah, this would be the, this would be the, the, uh, the vehicle there, the, the vehicle there that, uh, the Longhorn, the Longhorn that they make now, the expensive Longhorn, this would be the, the Longhorn. Um, what did he call that, the predecessor or? I don't know what the words, but this is, this is before the Longhorn. This was a Longhorn, but it wasn't called it. So I'm trying to get it. This was an expensive truck back in 2008. This was uh, 73 or $83,000 because uh, they, uh, the Resisto Hat Company out in Alberta, uh, big famous for cowboy hats, ranching, they uh, hooked up with Dodge in 2008 and made 423 or whatever trucks um, of this color. Well, I think of this color. It's a beautiful color. And yeah, I busted the window in the back of it last year, uh, taking a four-wheeler to an old guy. And I was driving it and the, the, the road was a little bit, the field was bumpy. And just the front bumper just touched that glass and smash. Now you can't replace that window. You gotta replace the whole window. Guess what that cost down in Nova Scotia, Canada? Yeah, $1,000 for a window, and you can't replace the pane because it's a special window, and tax is 15%, so $1,150, and who knows, they might charge a ice cream fee and a coffee fee, and then I'll be paying 1200 bucks. Oh, that's pretty. So... I was saying I need airbags in this truck. I don't need no airbags in this truck. This thing's got some big helpers on her. But my boy said I should have two-inch blocks in her to raise her up, level her up. See that? Oh, Buick Hubcap. Look at that. Yeah, looks like the 90s. Yeah, I think Buick was made in two, uh, 1902, mm -hmm. one or three, right Buick. Year. Indian was 1901 or two. Mm -hmm. And I think a year after Harley Davidson kicked in. <laughs> That's when, this, is nice this is a beautiful garage. You did a, you did the right I like this garage uh, actually better than other garages because you ain't going to shingle it. It's all metal. Yeah. Oh, the buy this garage would probably cost you, the build it probably cost you over 100000 yeah. Yeah. It's got a big beam. It's got a big beam running through there. See that there? Goes right through it. Runs right through it. Runs right through it. Yeah. Picking up uh, big buck deers and such. Big buck does. Oh, Randy might want one of them things. I'll give him. I got the same one. I'll give him that. He'll like that. Got a big school bus here. I'm gonna see if I can get him to fix this door. I don't know why this tailgate don't come down. It must be a latch problem. Yeah. No smoking. No smoking, baby. No sprint. This would be a 2000? 89? No, not I'm a 90. 90 or 91 sprint. New Chevrolet. No Chevrolet sticker coming off it. She was looking for somebody to, to tend the cats while she went to Calgary. Mm -hmm. So, let's just say, Uville Homes parking. Like, 
<laughs> Watch what you say, you're on video, bro. Yeah. Randy, remind me. No, I'm gonna not gonna say that in words because you you might not remind me. My tailgate will not come down now, and I think it's it's in the latch system. I tried. I put a screwdriver at it once, and it did come down on the side, up inside. Then I just couldn't do much with it after that, and it always worked beautiful. Like, it's like it's right. It feels like it's all hooked up, but it's pretty bad having the truck with the tailgate don't work. Look at here. Nothing's moving here. I might be able to reach in there and pry that latch. Yeah. Let's check this latch. Um, it's dark in there. I can't see. Can't see much. You can see inside, right? It's quite quite open inside. Like when he's inside in there. Uh -huh. Oh yeah. That's why I flicked it with the with the screwdriver or something that it popped open. Oh yeah. If you can get it open, then you can take this off. Yeah. Yeah. Plastic see, I never took that plastic off. Get at it. There's my axle, right there. Big axle. Yeah. And no, Randy don't work for anybody no more. He he's retired and. I know you fellas want to hire him, but he ain't working for nobody. I was lucky because I, I, uh, just lucky, I guess. Sometimes the, the gods, the, the creator, and takes a shine on me and looks down and everything stars line up. Yeah. This was the, this was the guy that I remember when I was in Ontario, when I had that axle problem on my truck. And uh, the bedding, the bedding. I was talking to uh, Randy about it, and he was troubleshooting. He's the number one troubleshooter for us. You want me to help you there? See? He's pretty strong, even when he's sick. But you know mechanics usually are strong. That Eric Rachel was some strong. Well, must not make that something. He was strong. He, they said that he could, Darren said he could uh, break the vice grips right in two, squeezing them. That's what Dad said. That's, that he broke the vice grips right in two? Bare hands. And he could pick an engine, a six-cylinder engine, out of a vehicle. Pick an engine up and carry it. Carry it. And I went, Dad, you're, you're full Dad of was Dad was bullshitting us. And I, he said, no, I'm not. And I said, Dad well, wouldn't do that. No, or, I said, Would he? he I wasn't big. What do you think? Did I Dad said, do that? He can't do that. I'm telling you, he can. He showed me all the vice grips that he broke. <laughs> I said, yeah, but he put pipes on them. And come on to them. That's got some lines in her. She's not good as Randy. Well, that make a good weight, Randy. You want to sell it up to Digby. Junk weight. Oh, she's grooved in good. But you know something? I think it was deeper, but where you put that mm -hmm. pad on backwards, it, it flattened them down better. Oh, yeah. That was, it was worse. It was worse than that, but that was good in a way. He might have designed that. Randy might have did it on purpose to put that backwards so I can save that. I'm going to need one of them $50 seals. I do? I am? Yeah. Where do we get that? See where it's leaking on the... Oh, where can I get that to? Okay. Okay. Well, I'm videotaping right now. <laughs> what? You have to use your phone. My phone? Well, you've always got to use your phone. I can't stop the video. My viewers don't want us to stop right now. This is getting exciting for them. Well, Randy knows all the numbers. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Congratulations. She's only a couple days old there. Congratulations. That's something. That's wonderful, Randy. You think you're to build a ball? Sure you are. 08. 08. 3,500. 3, Hi there. Hi. Uh, 08 Dodge Ram 3500. Looking for a rear axle seal.
It's 6.7 uh, diesel. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, hold my I'm gonna take a look. Bayview Auto Parts. It's a place down here in the French Shore area where they have a lot of stuff. And Randy might be dealing more with them guys, maybe if he does because he lives quite close to them compared to Digby, but he's been quite faithful to Digby Car Quest and they've been faithful to him, so I think he'll probably keep continuing doing what he's doing. That's my thoughts. Yeah. Nice hoist in there, Randy. I like that hoist. That's strong. Yeah. It's beautiful. You can pick a big buck deer. I was telling my viewers, Randy could pick a big buck doe deer out of that. Yeah, you want me to hold you? You want me to hold you? No? <laughs> Don't give me no fat lip. Don't give me no fat lip. <laughs> What's your name? What's your name? What's your name? Puddin' Tame? Where you live? Down the lane? What's your street? Pig feet? What's your number? Cucumber? No! <laughs> <laughs> Randy, Randy, put the, Randy, Randy put the grease right on her. Look at that. She just washed that dough two days ago. $80 wash job. He smelled my crotch. Get out of there, you crotch sniffer. The seal. Just the, just the seal. The rear axle seal. Just the seal? Yeah. A little bit. Yeah. <laughs> Pee Wee Herman bike. Pee Wee Herman. Oh, you gotta stop sniffing. Because my woman's not with me. She's out west and I can't have be freaking acting foolish like that. Uh no the rear axle. The rear axle? Yeah, the outer outer seal. Yes. 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 Thank goodness. I don't know, guys, but sometimes I don't know what to say on that one. I think she's new. She, not, she sounds nice, pretty, like not pretty, but she sounds nice to talk to, but maybe she just don't know too much. We don't know that. Yeah, she's still talking. Just listen. Randy puts up with a lot, right? All his life. People that's not quite there yet. See? The dog knows. You got a nice paint grease job. Yeah, drives him up. Drives him up the wall. Yeah. My phone. I can go to Digby. I can go to Digby and get the Exo seal. Be um before they even get this, this uh, the the extra seal discussed about. Yes. Oh, Randy took off with it. He don't want me next to the phone. Oh, he's got the rag. He wants to wipe that dog off. His wife will give him a pounding. She just paint. She just washed that dog up. Uh, I'm guessing one forty. Uh, crew cab short box. It's a mega cab. Mega cab. See, when you say mega, the price just went up. Yeah. yeah, it's like the convertible car. When the top goes down, the price goes up. Uh, no, just one. My effing goodness. How many questions they got to ask? Oh, Randy's pretty smart. He's got the tape measure right out. He's going to measure it right to the center. Middle of the wheel. Nope, it's a 160. It is a 160. So she's leaking here. That's for Randy. She's wet. So I'm just going to put a seal in it.
Um, it, it is a 160 wheelbase. Oh, it is 160? Yeah, I just measured it. <laughs> guys, guys, guys. Guys, guys. See, we don't have it. We don't, we don't, we don't. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm going to check Claire Dodge first and then I'll let you know. Yeah. It's, it's uh, Ashmore Auto. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Wow. Well, we won't talk too much while we're on the air, but I know what you're feeling. I know. I know. I'll just call somewhere else. I know. Yeah, he did right. I wasn't confident it was going to be the right one anyway. Yeah. So, Claire Dodge, you figure it might have one? Or should we just... Yeah, just try Claire. We're close. And if not, uh, at least you're armed more now with more... Parts? <laughs> yeah. yeah, we've been having problems. Um, they've been having problems with the uh, dealership down here, and I don't know. I guess it's everywhere. So, I get it. You don't just have to be a person to have problems. Dealerships, uh, companies can have problems. So, what's your uh, Civic? Uh, 5834. Probably interested in seeing your... Uh, yeah, sure, sure. Sounds good to me. 5834. Good morning, Claire Dodge. Hi, parts, please. One moment, please. Check these guys out and see how they communicate. It's all about the communication, guys. Right? All about the communication. I'm glad Randy got this off here, but we've got a seal leaking, so that's not good. Got to have that fixed. Thank you for your patience. We appreciate your waiting. Hey, Tim. Uh, 08 3500 Ram. Looking for a rear axle seal. Is Randy? Yeah. It's French truck. Um, so I should be on the door, Randy. How you going, Tim? How's she going, Tim? Good? <laughs> Brent was, yeah. Uh, last eight, Tim, or? Uh, yes, please. Looks like 8G188733. Real Yeah. Me too. <laughs> On these, uh, you need that gasket too, right? The seal on the gasket? Um, yeah, yeah. There's a gasket on the axle. zip up every time oh, yeah. the next half hour. Where's he from though? I don't know. Okay. There you go. Look at there. He's cleaning your eight up good. Mommy wouldn't get mad at your daddy. <laughs> for two weeks. Oh two weeks that'll wash right off. There'd Lunch. be more grease on him. Twelve. Huh? Lunch time. He's eating a bit there. Oh. Okay. Which is well, that's fine. A couple hours. That's fine. We can scoop up. Yeah. Doug Robichaud. That sounds familiar. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He used to work the Morris's. Oh. Doug used to work the Morris's. Oh, yeah. Doug. Oh, Doug oh well, he married uh, yeah, that yeah, cousin. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. 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 What you doing? Say hello. Hello. Don't bother me when daddy's brushing the grease off me. Oh, yeah. Uh -oh. <laughs> they don't stop nothing anymore. 
right on uh just just write her down to him and i'll like i'll see if car has got one or something we'll take him yep right on okay <laughs> so guys huh? we hit uh <laughs> we uh hit two for two zero and zero uh well i guess worst case scenario we'll leave the truck I seen a, I seen a, and we'll have to fix it tomorrow back, but we're gonna back by my we're calling car quest right now we'll listen on this one on car quest digby Hey there. Hey. Uh, 08 Dodge Ram. 3500. 3500. Looking for a rear axle seal. Four wheel drive. 6 7. Four wheel drive. With 160 some wheel base. Is it 3500? Yeah. It's like writing a novel. I bet you guys, listen, they got it. I'm betting you they got it there. If I was a betting man, I'm not, but usually I'm pretty lucky on such. Usually. I'm thinking they got it. Single or dual? Uh, it's got duels on it. It's a factory duels? Yeah. yeah. I know you. Right on. What did I tell you guys? Uh, they got the one. Thing, the gasket. Okay. Um, probably going to run up and pick that up anyway. It's for Ashmore. Okay. No problem, man. Yep. Right on. Yep. Right. Okay. See? They got it. See? See what I mean? You need the gasket? It's so. only 10 15. They don't get down here until after 2. Yeah. So we'll run right up and get that, eh? Yeah. This would be the number. This would be the first vid. Okay, guys. Thank you very much for this here live sort of vid. And. We're going to go up to Digby, Nova Scotia, Canada, where Digby is famous for scallops. And uh, the aliens would call it scallops. Us hillbillies call it scallops. Okay. Ronnie Amon's down visiting. Yep. Looks so good to me.